<laughs> morning. Man, I tell you, I am so blessed by these warm spring mornings. <laughs> Nothing like a watch on sunrise. <laughs> it's cold. I do like though the fact that you can see the changes in the seasons. You can appreciate the differences, differentiations between the cold, the hot, the stormy, rainy weather, the snowy weather, the hail, the thunder, the lightning. Oh, and by the way, the sunshine. <laughs> Today, you know, you kind of go, wow, when the wind's blowing. Because if the wind isn't blowing, we know what kind of weather we get because of, you know, that kind of like haze, kind of, we call it smog, <laughs> that you get unless the wind's blowing. So when it's a clear, crisp, cold, windy morning, and then God throws the sun up over the mountain, you go, Wow, that's bright. Because <laughs> there's such a clarity to the air, a prism to the focus, a directional to the object of what's creating the light. And I like that because God gives us light for a purpose. It's to cause us to grow. It's to help us to know the truth. It develops in us certain graces it influences inside of us the release of certain chemicals that enhances our mood. As a matter of fact, I really like the light. But then I lived in Alaska and, you know, we used to have, you know, almost 24 hours of light part of the year. The other part of the year, oh, it got dark. <laughs> and you could get moody from it. But you know, what's funny was I wasn't moody from where it was dark all the time. I was moody from where I lived in Ketchikan when it rained all the time. Matter of fact, in Ketchikan, it would start, oh, I don't know, probably about September 15th, and then it would stop raining, oh, I don't know, probably about May 15th. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. Don't visit Alaska in the winter. <laughs> in Ketchikan, it just rained and rained and rained. You learn to walk between the raindrops. But that's what you do when you live in a certain area. You adapt to where you're at. And if you don't adapt, then you get moody. You get cranky. You get irritable. You try to buck the system. You try to fight your way through. You try to make something out of what you can't get through. Because you can't fight Mother Nature. Or can you? Because it's really not Mother Nature you're fighting, is it? It's kind of creation and you're dealing with the creator. You're actually going against the grain. You're not kind of going with the flow. It's like swimming upstream, you know? If you want to swim upstream, hey, I'm all for it, you know? If there's a reason for swimming upstream. But if not, hey, I'm doing a backstroke, man. I'm going downstream. <laughs> I've been in some mountain streams, so I tell you, it's not always easy to go against the tide. Sometimes you have to go with the flow. And that's how you know when you're with God by way of knowing which direction to go. Do you go upstream or downstream? Are you with, you know, kind of like the way things are for the day? Or are you just a whoosh, whoosh, a flush? Sorry, but you know, some people, that's what their life is like. Flushing the toilet every morning. They're really just dumping on life. They don't enjoy or employ being led by the Spirit of God to be a part of what God has in store for the day. So today I want to get, you know, prepared for my day. I want to participate with the Creator of the universe. I want to see what it is that God has for me because no clouds in the sky. Oh, the sun's coming up, it's bright. It's going to come over that tree in a minute and it's going to flood this porch with light. Even as it's flooded my windows, my plants are going, Wee! <laughs> So you can already begin to see a rainbow effect. And as that sun begins to dominate the day, 
we ought to recognize the light because if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another but men love darkness more than they love the light lest they come to the light and their deeds be revealed for what they are so I like to kind of like set my day and my pace according to what Jesus says so I know that I'm going in the right direction and not the wrong pray everywhere lifting up holy hands without wrath and without doubting the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeks such to worship him God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth then shalt thou call and the Lord shall answer thou shalt cry and he shall say here I am when you stand praying forgive if you have aught against any forgive them forget it get over it deal with it pray and ask God to forgive them if you can without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him let him ask in faith nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. My little children, these things write I unto you that you sin not. And if any man does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus the Christ, the Righteous One, for He is the propitiation for our sins. You know, I love what Keith Green used to say and used to sing. He'd say, hey, just do your best. Pray that it's blessed. Jesus takes care of the rest. Woohoo! And you can go about your day, you know, kind of like, oh yeah, cool. Now, I kind of like to participate with God to see, well, is there anything I can do, Lord? Is there anything you want me to be a part of that's bigger than I am, that you have that I can maybe, you know, kind of like pick up, you know, like trash, maybe like, you know, help a little lady cross the street, you know, do those unthinkable unrequited those things that people don't notice you know but you notice and do it in your name and do it for your fame and do it for your glory so that I uh, know one, maybe no one will see but between you and me God I got it you know you just want someone whose heart is willing to offer to you worship through what I'm doing that my life could be a life of worship it's not always about singing <laughs> that's the least of things it's not always about raising hands. That's probably the most simple of things. It's not always about saying something. But sometimes it's about doing something. You know, being about my father's business. Being intimate enough to know, hey, you know, there's a little old lady across the street. And maybe, you know, just saying hi or nodding my head. Smiling when everybody else is rowdy. <laughs> hey, having a good time when everybody else is like gotta go to work well praise the lord that's great <laughs> fantastic man have a good day you know i mean you never know what might influence someone to think in a different way and that's what i think worship of god really is all about it's not just recognizing god for who he is he's already got plenty of worshipers he's got angels he's got beings around the throne he's got a constant music system that's far beyond dolby <laughs> dare i say and it's eternal but from our lives we could participate as a living worship as a living presence of worship in the nature of how we deal with everyday life looking for opportunities to just wow oh, praise the lord look at that man i get a chance to to uh clean up the parking lot cool Man, I get a chance to let that person cut me off. All right, back up, slow down, slow down, let them in. I get a chance to open up the opportunity for them to do something they need to do. Because they're so busy, they don't see through the circumstances of life to see who is behind the winter, who is behind the spring, who is behind the summer, who is behind the fall, who in fact arranged my sky today just for me to enjoy. Praise ye the Lord, man. I am stoked about today because God gave it to me.
to rejoice and be glad in. So my day now is set. I get to go forward from the Wasatch Mountains all the way through the Salt Lake Basin, up and down the freeway, all over the place to just be glad. For this is the day God made. Woohoo! I'm glad he did.